Morning guys, it's Friday morning and we're on our way to Norfolk. We're going to Seacroft Caravan and Motorhome Club site at East Runton near Cromer. We stopped off last night here, which is the famous farm cafe. It is actually a truck stop and we have stayed here a few times. Um, they charge you £10 to park up here. And so there is a, one or two trucks in still this morning. Most of them went quite early on. It's not a bad little stopover. It's quite noisy on the roads until about 10 o'clock and then it seems to quiet them down. That's the entrance and the, the cafe. And they do a decent breakfast here as well. So you can get up and just toddle over and get some breakfast. It is a farm shop as well, they sell all sorts of different things. If you've got a dog with you, there's a nice bit of grass at the end for having a little run on, um, which is where me and Abby are just heading for now while Andy's gone to collect breakfast. I don't think dogs are allowed in the cafe, so he'll go get a takeaway breakfast and bring it back to the van. And Abby and I will go for a little wander on the field. Just over here is the field that me and Abby are going for a little wander on. You see Abby's quite eager to get there. This way Abby, I'm just go up here to get down, it's a bit easier. Oh, Abby's just spotted some rabbits. I'm waiting for it, here she goes. <laughs> And she's getting all excited because she can see the rabbits. Can you see the rabbits? Oh, whoa, she's off. <laughs> I did just forget to mention that this place is at Hull Beach on the A17. Um, not too far past Sleaford. And I say it is a great little stopover and over the last few years they've actually got one on the other side of the road as well for people going the other way. I'll just quickly show you the actual farm shop here. With all the fruit and veg and various other things that they sell. So we can't go in because we can't take a cabbie in. So we've walked from Seacroft Club site down towards into West Runton, down towards Dormy House, restaurant and bar hotel. Um, we've been here for a drink a few times when we've been in this area. It's an absolutely lovely place. It's very well set out. And there's a lovely area at the back to sit, overlooking the sea. It's all behind glass, so it keeps the wind off. It is a little bit on the breezy side today. So I'll just take you down there and have a look and show you what it's like. So you just walk down the side. You see the sea over the horizon. We've got Abby taking me up the steps. So you walk into the back and 
there's a lovely seating area out back. This way, Abby. This way. You can see through the glass, you can see over the sea. It's absolutely beautiful and very, very relaxing. And he's sat over there with his pint. I'm in. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. you're in. It's a massive area, so it seats plenty. There's loads of seating inside as well. We did have a carvery here one Sunday when we was down this neck of the woods. I can just sit here all day just overlooking the sea. It's beautiful. Absolutely amazing. There's new trains out there. So we've had a walk today, we've been down from Seacroft club site, walked into West Runton, called in one or two pubs along the way and we're just arriving at the Hole in One Bar which is at the bottom of the Inkleborough Fields club site and we've been here before but then we've just sort of found a lovely little pond area that we've never noticed in all the times we've been coming down here. So this is where we are at the minute. Hello! And it's absolutely lovely. Nice little bridge over a little stream. And the pond, it's called Retting Pond. And we imagine there's quite a lot of wildlife living in the reeds and things along here. A couple of little benches around to sit on. I thought it'd be a nice place to actually have a picnic. The train station's just over the back there. Andy and Abby are sat on the bench. It's really lovely, really tranquil. Now entered the dog walk. This is Abby's evening walk. She does like a bit of a room around. Come on, Abs. Mm. So when you get to the end of the first section, it turns round and it goes back the other way. It's not one where you can let your dogs off the lead, they do have to stay on the leads on this dog walk. Here's a little park for the children, which is just situated in the tent field. There is a couple of tents there this evening. And this is the upper end of the dog walk as well. So just at the top of our field, there's the toilet block and showers and washing up area. Sort of the usual club site blocks. There's just the one on this site. I think there's 111 pitches. The usual thing on this site is the swimming pool. It's the only club site I know that has a swimming pool on it. I'm just sort of looking over the fence because it's all closed now for the evening. So this is the Wanderer Bar. And again, as far as I know, there's only two club sites have these. Um, that's this one at Seacroft, and the other one is Nairsborough up in Yorkshire. And that's why we're going for Christmas this year. On they do have entertainment each night. Um, there's an early evening show for the children, and then they have an uh, adult show later on, normally a singer or something of that nature. This is the dog bar outside the bar so the dogs can have a drink too. This is just inside the bar, there's some seating in there. And then just out here, there's plenty of seating outside too, but it's getting a little bit cool now for sitting outside. 
and just over from the entrance and exit there's the information room it's very seasidey Lots of leaflets again, all back in. Lots of information up on the wall. And if you fancy a little read, there's a few books as well. Also the bus timetables in the corner. And the motorhome service point here. And just behind there, I found one of my favorites, the Little Insect Hotel. This one's called the Bug Hotel. It's Sunday morning and we're just going into Cromer, having a walk along the seafront. Some amazing waves today. People are sat out on the beach. And this is the road down into the town along the seafront of all the little beach huts. Now, as a kid, I'd have been out there playing on them waves. I absolutely loved a day like that, playing in the sea. So there's numerous ways down onto the beach, but as you can see, it is quite a long way down. The bit we came down was more slopes rather than stairs. This one is stairs. And just at the bottom, there's a little pirate ship playground for the children.